standing outside Sussex Coast College. Uh, and we're here today because the Secretary of State for Transport, Patrick McLaughlin, uh, has come to Hastings for a rail summit. As Patrick McLaughlin is also pushing through a £50 billion project, rail project, known as HS2. It's the high speed rail link between London and the north of England. And what we know is that in November 2011, there was a Cabinet Office report on HS2 which was highly critical of the project. Campaigners have been trying to get to see this report. He's used these special veto powers. Uh, they've only been used half a dozen times before, including uh, to suppress the Attorney General's legal advice on the invasion of Iraq uh, back in the early 2000s. He's, he's actually used a special veto power that the government has to override the Information Commissioner, who said it was in the public interest for this report to be published. We think if you're going to spend £50 billion of public money, we should have openness, we should have transparency and disclosure. Maybe when Amber Rudd's finished talking to the media just over there, maybe we'll go and have a word with her and find out what she thinks about Patrick McLaughlin's suppression of the 2011 Major Projects Authority report on HS2. Because obviously if you're going to spend £50 billion of public money, these things should be open and transparent in the public domain. Are you from Hastings? I am indeed, I'm one of your constituents. Excellent. What I'm going to be focusing on today is rail delivery to Hastings. OK, but after, after you've done that, that bit, well... No, no, there is. When you, will, you, will, you take, will you undertake, you, maybe not today then, yeah. you will put to Patrick McLaughlin, the Secretary of State for Transport, just a big waft the knee. Of Sorry, a strawberry. <laughs> strawberry. Do you know who I'm supposed to be? Um, uh, I'm worried, but I can't actually say what I think that okay. is on your head. Okay. Uh, this is an official bald vulgar. head. This it's is official from a novelty shop. Okay. It's, um, Get it's, a jacket, it a sunglasses, long character. It is. From a spy. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes, I am. Um, no, I am old enough. To you. It's it is to coming you. to me. I can't okay. quite remember his name. Okay. That's okay. But okay, I do know you mean. Just it's, 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 uh, but okay, you're an investigator. To, today you're going to talk about Hastings. Today we're going to talk about Hastings. But will you undertake to put to him that he needs to release the 2011 Major Projects Authority report? It seems only reasonable. We've had other people going into the I will put to him they are saying, a question yeah, of it be that you asked me to put to him because you're my resident. So okay. all you need but to do... You, as a, as an MP, should you have an opinion about this All you this need well? to do is write you, to me... Do you have an opinion yourself? All you should need the to do is write report to me, amber.rod.mp okay. at parliament.uk. But I'm asking you for your opinion now. Are you going to, do, are you going to take up this? And demand that it be released. I don't feel the need to demand that it's released. But Why not? You feel Why not? Because I haven't read your arguments. You write to me, no, 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 set out the arguments. But well, well, we already know. I would really like to hear your arguments. The argument's very simple. No, the trouble, the, public, is, the, the trouble is, I've got 50 interest. people waiting in there to talk to me, but I'm going to make them my priority. Okay. But tell me your name. My name is Gabriel. Gabriel, I will look out for your email if you make the time to send me one, and I will look into it because you asked me to. Okay. But if you follow it up. All right, thank you. Do. He's hiding this report, he's hiding the documents. And so a small bevy of detectives here have come here today to try and find those documents. And um, that's why we're here. Who loves you, baby?